Hey everyone, welcome back to Monster Seed. That's right. This time we're going to the town plaza to turn in that quest and get another one. Alright. Pigeons! Alright, uh, now time to talk to the town chief. Alright, uh, turn around you goddamn slowpoke. Oh, alright, here we go. Town chief! I've beaten all the low ranking monsters in the beast fighting arena! That was quick. In that case, I'm gonna give you a job, as I promised. Yes! Something's happened a short while ago. A traveling salesman, Mac, who, or Mao, yeah, who used to sell monsters got robbed and kidnapped. Mao came from this town, so we can't just ignore it. We have to do whatever is necessary to help him. Yeah, my voices get uh, very bad. Sorry. However, our opponents are vicious thugs, and was we're no match for them. Moreover, the fortress they built on the hill of Ball is said to be an impregnable fortress. Fortress? Yes. It's called a fortress, but it's the size of an ordinary castle. And it's a castle, not a fortress. And Mao is held in the fortress of Baal. That's right! There's someone who spotted him there and when they took him there. We don't know precisely why they captured him. But it looks like if it's got something to do with the monster seed he was selling. Hmm, why would... Because it's a new kind of monster seed. The gang must have captured now so they could find out where the mine is for this new seed. Hmm. I know it's dangerous, but we go. Um. Yes. Will you? Oh, great, great! It's like he didn't expect me to say yes. This is part of the payment for the job. The rest will be paid when you rescued Mao. I understand. Boom! Yay! Got the payment. Yeah, my voices are going to be completely inconsistent. And, you know what? I don't care. You get what you pay for. You don't pay crap, so you're getting me. Ha! <laughs> Okay, yeah, not really damaged at all, so here we go. Keep going. Now, it's time. Go up. And, okay, never mind. Go into the monster's fighting store first, because I got a hatch. Got to get a few things ready here. Okay, got the uh, hatching pack up, and going to be hatching a couple of good, good monsters here. Or at least a few of my favorites. I'm not really into the assists, so I'm gonna go with uh, what's recommended. Um, okay, let's see. What seeds do I have here? Um, okay, guess I gotta look over here. Press O. Seed number one. Harass- Yes! Harassment. I love harassment. I am going to get a uh, pretty good one for that. Magic assist. Okay. Uh, oh, crap. I forgot the numbers. Number three. Okay. Battling offensive seed. Okay. Now, um... Gonna start with the harassment seed because the harassment is uh, exactly what I need. Uh, which one was this? This was uh, seed number one, I think. Um, it affects attacking power. Uh, that one affects sound power. Uh, acting power. The acting and um, and movement I'm going to use with uh, battling offensive and I'm just gonna use these two for now 
on the harassment. And let's see, what temperature do I need? Seven, I think? Oh, well, it's gonna end up uh, one of my favorite monsters, and you'll see. Here in just a few, okay. Hatching temperature, seven. There we go. What do we get, what do we get, what do we get? Oh, yay! Favorite monster in the game. It's a Yagi. Normal and determined, meaning good stats, great stats. Oh my god, probably the best monster I've got. Um, Bughead causes deep sleep, that causes blindness, that causes petrify and petrify minus two. This one is uh, insanity. So, what are we going to name him? It's definitely not going to be Hitch, that's for damn sure. Hutch before anything, but no. Alright, no, not PJ. P A R I S E C T. Parasect! There wasn't really anything good, and that actually fits him better than any other Pokemon does. Remember, it's that kind of Let's Play. Okay, battling Offensive Seed. It's number three. Alright. Uh, set. Um, uh, looking temperature is seven, so I'm gonna select the, uh, those two. Oh, yeah. That one, that one, and that one. Okay. Yeah, seven to get, uh, my favorite type of monster for battling offensive. Very strong early on. Very, very strong. They get better, but, uh, by the end of the game, battling offensive monsters, not really necessary. Quite fast and unforgiving, this is going to have some okay stats, and I like that character type. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. That's actually pretty dang good. Bubbly a slide. Yeah. It's, uh... Yeah. It's not going to be named Sako. And, uh, yeah, there's no real, um, Pokemon that goes with this. Unless you guys find something, in which case, go ahead, let me know. I might make another one for it. But, uh, because there's not, um, I'm gonna kind of bend a little bit, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. S U D O. W, okay, there it is, U, D, O. Sudowoodo! Yeah, I don't care if that's spelt right or not. Now, magic of... Magic assist. Alright, it's number five, right? Okay. Sorry, I had a little bit of a memory gap there. Um. Okay, select these two. And... Uh... I don't like this one, but uh, it looks like I'm going to keep the temperature up to 9 here. Kick the temperature is what I meant, but okay. And... Yes, it is an Uru. And... Normal. Well, what do you know? Where is that fast? Um, sorry. The, uh... This is one of the best healing magic attacks, or magic assists, ever. And it's not going to be named Rain. I know exactly what I'm going to name it. And anybody who's a fan of the Meta Zone will know it. Yep. I didn't have enough to, to put the first one in there, plus he doesn't exactly have the uh, qualifications for that particular quantifier. So he's just lapping. I have now Parasect, Pseudo Wudo, 
and Lapin. Balls Fortress, here we go. Time to hit you hard, boy. What a huge fortress. I heard it's big, but this? Wow. They're called robbers, but they're not the usual kind of robbers. I'll have to be very careful. Okay. Uh, go left here because there's a treasure chest in here. Um, yeah. This is actually most of the fun in the game. Is going around uh, these places that they force you to go around. And uh, you don't know where all the fights are. I know where most of the fights are because I've done this before, of course. And you don't know what kind of traps are laid around for you. You don't know what's in store for you. If you follow my kind of walking and path, you can get most of the treasures. Um, I'm not entirely sure on where everything is. But I think I got next to 80-90% whenever I did this the first time through. So uh, I know a good amount of where things are. And here's the first battle, that's why I kind of wanted to get that chest first. Okay, I'm going to be battling this guy. Hans. Hans. Well, Hans. Yeah, I'm still not doing the battle voices because... Well, I do enough bad voice acting as it is. Okay, time for Tepig. Because he's actually a pretty good one. Alright, time also for... Parasect. Then finally... You can guess. And if you guys say Lappin, you're wrong. That's right. Pseudo Wudo. Sand Slash is still by far my best. But, uh. Honestly, I think the ones that I've got now coming out, pretty dang good. Plus, I kind of need to give Sandslash a rest. Okay, now I'm just going to move back. Also, if you notice, it's actually really hard to uh, just turn in the corner. I think there's a way you can do it with the L and R buttons, but I'm not entirely sure. I forgot. Sorry. Yeah, um... Yeah. Okay, so he's attacking. Gatora! He attacked my sphere. And then moves in front of Tepig. Uh, none of my monsters are actually gonna go suicide on this one. I'm just gonna go to attack. Make things easier on myself. Make things harder on him, too. Because he doesn't have that many monsters, as you can see. And, God, I love these things. Because they can turn things into stone. Tepig. Gold hard gas, yay! And it's down. Yes, I have actually been proven that uh, MP does kill. So yeah, you gotta watch that. And if you have uh, someone like uh, Tepig or Charmeleon out and they start attacking their own, I have no idea what that one was named. And uh, the mirror match isn't gonna really affect him too much. 
But yeah, Parasect here kind of sometimes friendly fires. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's difficult. Once again, MP is the downfall. And that's why you've got to watch out with your, uh, with your battling offensive types, because odds are they don't have the greatest stats for magic defense, and magic almost always destroys your uh, MP. So be careful! All I can really say. Alright, Tepig's coming up. Doesn't do anything. And uh, that's another mechanic. If you can get there and use uh, like one of the fin eye wings on the creature before it does that, you save it. If it does that, you don't. And yeah, he got two. And yes, you can get seeds from battle. Apparently, I'm just not having a very good uh, time with it. Also, you can get a lot of the items from the shop just by battling, and a lot of the items that aren't in the shop for battling. Um, okay, those are spears. You want to be careful of them. If you see that trap, those are spears. Here, the path divides into three. Let's make a move and making our base here. Okay. Basically what he said is, uh, is this the library? Isn't the book that Cal was talking about? Oh, this book! It's audio book three! The book Cal wanted. Let's have it. Okay, got the book audio volume three. Okay. Uh, going up, going up, going up, going up, up, up. Um, actually, no. Uh, not yet. Let's go down and over. Because if I remember right, there's another battle here. Okay, not yet. Um, but this door is locked. Tut, it's locked. Doesn't move a bit. Unless we find the key, we can't get through here. I scrolled through that a little fast. Oh well, I'm kind of winging it anyway, so... As you can tell. Okay. Um... Let's see. Oh, yeah. Forgot about this place. Uh, yeah, be careful, you will fall off the ledges. And you will believe that you can fall. Let's see, what's in here? Mm, pretty good, not bad, anyway. Still wish I could get seeds, but I'm getting full up on solutions now. Bitter Aid and 300 gold. These can only be opened by a bronze and a silver key, by the way. Okay, let's go right. Uh, nothing here yet? Okay, go through here. And battle. My start, yay! I actually really like this battlefield even though there's nothing really special about it. Okay. Call. Let's see, who do I want? Uh... Sandslash. Because I remember, I had to start calling him sooner. Um... Call. Mm, 
want Tepig. Uh, let's see. Uh, no, I don't really want Charmeleon either. Uh, let's call Parasect. Let's go with, uh, yeah, why not? Let's go with, uh, Agumon. I don't really want to overload on, uh, these things, so. Well! Yeah. Alright, now, let's see. Pack. This guy has only got one monster defending his life points. It's a good monster, but he's only got one. Yeah, you go... Oh, crap. I'm using the analog stick on my controller, so I was trying to get him to go suicide. Um, but I couldn't, so... Oh well. I could also change his uh, directions from there, but oh uh, well. Let's see. I'm gonna tell you to go suicide. Suicide. He, uh, you're gonna attack him and... Parasect, what are you doing? What are you doing? You are so lucky that didn't stone him. Now he's got two monsters defending his life points. See how you like this. And I skillfully dodge. And I get to attack his thing. And slash. Kill him! Kill him! Oh well. Now he moves over to try and take out the lawman. And that's a battling offensive, or not a battling offensive, but a magic offensive. Bam! Will you quit hitting? Sand Slash, you dick! It's because I sent you to suicide. Note to self, do not set harassment types to suicide. Agumon, yay! Now move in front of the... okay, never mind. Insert Cyberman uh, sound effect there. Okay. Attack, tornado uppercut on this thing. It took no damage. Okay, turning to hit the ruler. Because the ruler seems to take damage, just not magic damage. Ha! <laughs> Ow. Ha! <laughs> Ow. Ooh, only two left. Yeah, you're dead. Yeah, you didn't stand a chance, did you? Boom. Yeah, if I die, it's only game over. If they die, it's, uh, end of the road. And still no seed! Anyhow, I think I'm gonna cut this episode here. And, uh... I'll talk to you guys next time. Well, maybe not. Um, 
first I gotta explore a little bit here. And, uh, yeah, just go through these. No battles. It's not really important here. No treasure there. Um, treasure in here, though. Let's see what I can get. Bit of raid and 400 gold and Venom Razua, along with uh, some gold and a uh, potion. It looked like, I think, an aqua potion. And then you go up here, there's nothing up here, so you go down there and then you go back to the center thinking, why the hell did I come this way? And there is a reason later on, just not now. Um, and this is where, this is literally where I'm going to call it. Right in this room here. I'll talk to you guys next time. This is Thelman23 out. We'll be going through there next time. This time, out. Bye.